Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. We're going to be talking about this late 2008 Mercedes ML500. And being a late 2008 model, it's got the 5.5 litre V8 engine coupled with the seven speed gearbox. This particular car is obsidian black with black leather interior. And it's got a number of great features including keyless go and a wood grain steering wheel, which always looks good. The 500s came with a lot more features than the 350s. It's got a Harman Kardon sound system. It's got your sport and comfort settings for the suspension. And at the click of a button, the suspension can even go up by about a foot. You've also got the updated color navigation. It's got a reverse camera and Bluetooth. It's got two remote keys and I think is incredible value for money when you consider what they cost new. The other good thing about the 5.5 litre is they're absolutely reliable and despite the fact that they use a bit more fuel than a 350 and I say only a bit because there's really not a lot in it if you drive it sensibly and especially on the freeway they're very good. Obviously they're available in a turbo diesel which is economical on fuel but your maintenance is going to be a lot higher. You've got turbos, glow plugs, injectors. You can, you can talk to any diesel mechanic and uh, they can explain. So yeah, sometimes it can be a bit of a false economy. You think by buying a diesel you're saving money um, when in fact when you get to these sorts of kilometres, 100,000 kilometres or more, there can be a lot of expenses. Whereas a good thing about a V8 like this car, it's just a V8, there's no turbos, and it's petrol. Um, so as well as the reverse camera, it does have front and rear parking sensors. Um, you saw, you'll see one of the headrests are missing. Um, we actually, it's actually... Um, they forgot to bring it in and it's on its way so it will have all the headrests but if you've been looking for an ML500 the the 5.5 litre really is the pick of them the 5 litre is very reliable it was around for a long time but I think they've only got about 225 kilowatts which is a significant difference Uh, it's got memory electric seats, drivers and passenger side, a sunroof, it's got the nice soft leather interior, xenon headlights, and there can be a bit of confusion around 2008 as to whether it's an update or not. If you are looking at a photo of any other MLs and you're not sure, you can tell by the headlights. You can see it goes along here and you've got that tear down here. So that's how you can tell if it's a proper update. Because some people advertise their cars as MY09 when in fact they might have been complied in 2008 but they were built in 07 or early 08 making them the earlier model. So don't be confused because the price difference can be significant. But we think it's a very impressive car. I don't think it's going to last very long at this price. They are becoming very good value. And if you do have any specific questions about the car, please give us a call. We're contact on 02 9569 We're only 15 to 20 minutes from Sydney Airport, and we can even help you with finance. Thanks for watching. We look forward to hearing from you.